What are the most fun ways to practice spelling? The English language has a ton of variations of spelling rules. The good news is I've got some exciting spelling games to help kids learn and practice while they are playing word games. The first game we will start with is spelling race to the finish board games. Write down the words you want to practice on paper, shuffle and put them in a pile. Pull one out and read the word, and if the kids spell them correctly, they get to move the number of steps of the letters in the word. I give myself a handicap by limiting my moves to the spaces rolled on just one die. The kids will want to attempt longer words because it means more moves for them. If the longer words work out well, you might not win. But as I tell my daughter, I play with her to enjoy the time we spend together. On this channel, we do a lot of teaching strategies using games just like this. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Game number two, spelling crossword puzzles. This is as easy as putting in the words you want to practice into a crossword generator online as well as appropriate clues you want to provide. Then the website will generate a crossword for you and you can just hand it over to your kid. This next game is one that my younger daughter finds completely delightful. Spelling blind. We use whiteboard, markers, as well as an eye mask. Then read each word. The kids try to write it on the whiteboard while blindfolded. This can come across as a very silly game because it is so fun, but this activity truly exercises their mental image of words. When they make a mistake, that's not a problem. Work through the correct spelling together using spelling analysis, which I talked about in this previous video up here, and then try it again. That exercise of recalling the words shape from memory helps to seal the deal for remembering how to spell. If you've already picked up a fun suggestion or two to try, make sure to click the like button. Spelling activity number five. With the playlist of music going on in the background, give your kids a list of spelling words they have to write. When the music starts, have your kids write the words as many times over as they can. Switch the songs at the 30 second to one minute mark. When you switch songs, they switch words. They will be writing words over and over, so if that's what you want them to do, this is going to be a new spin on that with a little bit of variation. Number six, Battleship. Download a printable Battleship template online. You can check out one of the links that I've shared below. Each player writes down the spelling words on one sheet, one letter per square. You can place words horizontally or vertically. Players take turns calling out coordinates. At A10. Yes, R. If you know the entire word, you can target the correct cells and take down your opponent's ship completely. You can write it at her 10, I 10. Yes! Yay! When the kids play this game, they'll be looking and studying the spelling words a lot and making informed guesses that rely on their recall of words from their spelling list. I won! Remember those spelling cards from earlier when we played spelling blind? Another way to get kids to really study how the words are made up is to play spelling jigsaw. Use those cards that we made earlier, but cut them where you want your kids to think hard about. Then mix the pieces up and hand them to the kids to put together the spelling words. You can make it easier by cutting specific shapes that only fit on one piece, or you can make it harder by cutting all the pieces similarly. This is a great way to help them look for word roots, suffixes, and specific combination of phonograms where words join together. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will see you in the next one.